funny is that I was editing this video last night, okay? And this video talks about basically when life throws shit at you. Well, it talks about auth authenticity and like how to know if you're living a life that you truly want to live and how that impacts you. And then it also talks about, um, you know, when life throws things at you, you figure it out. You know, you can't like sit and wallow. You know what I woke up to this morning, guys? You want to know? You want to know? I get a little call. 10 o'clock, still sleeping. I get a call. She says, hey, hate to break the news to you. Somebody busted your windows. I said, oh, no. Ugh. How annoying, how annoying, okay? When I reached just a window, my window got broken into a couple weeks, like two months ago or whatever. I know how to deal with it, I can deal with this. So I scurried my way down there to look at it. Not only did they bust my window, thank God it was only one. They also completely tore up my steering wheel, popped it off, uh, cut wires, basically screwed up my whole car. I did cry a little bit. I was just thinking like, this is so funny. This is so funny because I was literally editing a video last night, basically speaking life into people to be like, when life throws you shit, you just figure it out because you're stronger and you can take care of yourself. And anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I thought that was very funny and very coincidental. So, hope you liked the video. Welcome to my office. We're gonna get into today's topic, which is gonna be something that I feel like I've dealt with uh, my entire life. And that is when things just don't feel right and you know things don't feel right and you're like trying to either figure out what it is or figure out what you wanna do instead. I feel like an example for this that, that was the most obvious for me in terms of things not feeling right and I was like, I have to do something else is when I first went to college and I didn't, like, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to be like a personal trainer or do something with like physical therapy because I really enjoyed working out all throughout my years of high school. So uh, when I went into school, I went in with signing up for a health science degree. And as I did the degree, you know, you have to do all your basics first. So you're not really like doing your program. But once I started taking the classes and people were asking me like, oh, well, like, what do you want to do with that degree? And I would always be like, I have no idea. I have no idea what type of jobs this would like even go into. And I think that just goes into like being a like young teenager and like basically being a kid and not knowing anything about the world or like, not knowing anything about jobs, because that's a big thing, you know? And so I was always very confused about how people even knew what they wanted to do really, because I'm like, how do you even know who you are, you know? But you know, people have parents and people have parents who instill things in them and teach them things. And when you don't have a parent who's like basically like helping you learn about the world as you go or learn about what's out there and what's possible, you kind of just have to figure it out by yourself. So when I, was, when I chose this degree, I was going based off of the fact that I wanted to be a personal trainer. Okay, so I went with the degree. And as I started doing it, I started taking the classes that were more like concentration focused. I was like, this is like, no, this is not, this is not where I see my future going. And I felt so stuck for so long because my mom wanted me to go to college and I want to make her proud. You know, I wanted to make her happy. So I stayed, I watch YouTube regularly and there's this one YouTuber that I watch, her name is Shallon. And one thing that she's always said that stuck out to me because it's so true, your subconscious wants to be heard. And if you don't listen to her, she's going to basically show up in other ways. And so how that showed up for me was that I felt stuck. I started going out too much. I started making bad decisions. I put myself in so many different scenarios. I was drinking way too much. And I was basically just like all over the place. Drinking for me became a source of feeling okay, feeling good, escaping. And as a Pisces, I'm somebody who loves to escape. Like I'm escape artist. I can be there physically, but mentally I'm literally somewhere else. Like I can disassociate so easy. And so I was just escaping my reality. And you know, that manifested into just chaos. So if you don't listen, you know, if you don't listen to your subconscious, if you don't listen to your psyche basically, and what you want, what she wants, like subconsciously, you, you don't want to be here. You want something else. You want a different dynamic. You want something else with your future. But consciously, you're like, no, I'm not going to listen to that. I'm going to do this instead because this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what my parents want me to do. This is what society says I need to do. And so you're literally fighting yourself. And so when it comes to things not feeling aligned with yourself or with your life, you're going to have this like internal conflict. And so I think it's really important to listen to that. And so how that worked with me was that I, you know, I literally, I was in college and I said, mm, I don't want to be here anymore. So I moved to California 
when I was literally in college, I was like, I, I'm, I'm leaving. So I moved to California and I think I took like a semester off or something. And I was in California doing, living my life, I guess. Then I moved back to Florida and then I enrolled, I think into like two more classes. And I was like, okay, I can't like, I can't deal with this. And at the time it was even more stressful because I was going through like a very chaotic relationship that both of us were just like not stable. And you know, we weren't necessarily helping each other. Then I moved back, I moved back home and I took a whole year off from college until I decided, you know what? I had to sit and ask myself, what do I want? What do I want from this life? And let me take these off. This is because I, um, you know, sleeping is, is not my strong suit right now. So I had to start asking myself as somebody that was always trying to like make other people happy to my best of my ability because I'd been told for so long that I was selfish, which guilty, guilty, definitely selfish, definitely selfish. I mean, <laughs> listen, not everybody's gonna be Miss like Mother Teresa, okay? Sorry, not gonna be me. And so, but I felt bad because I wanted to make everybody happy, okay? Like I don't wanna constantly hurt my loved ones or like let them down. So I had to start sitting with myself asking like, what do I really want? And not, not what do I want because somebody else, that's what they believe that, you know, is good for me. What do I want? And when you don't live a life of like living where you do what you wanna do for you or you do things because you, you know, want to chase that goal or that passion. It's like you don't even know who you are. Guys, this, the trials and the journey that I went through from the time that I was like a teenager, I don't know, like 16 years old minimum to literally like 22 years old, 23, it was an intense journey of self-realization and self-discovery, okay? So intense, so chaotic, and... I learned so much about myself. And I used to think about that time period where it was like, you know, I, you know, people have shame. We have shame around us doing bad things. We have shame around the way that we've treated people, hurt people in our past, all this. Or just like the way that we've like magically impacted our lives in not a good way. I think, why did I go through all of that? Because they say everything happens for a reason, but it's like, okay, then why did that period of my life have to go like that? Why did I have to get let down so many times? Why did I have to hurt myself or put myself in those situations so many times, you know? And then once I was out of it, I went to an event and somebody was speaking. He says, in the times, basically, in the times where things are the darkest, you find out who you are. And it was something like that, you know, I'm sure they said it better, but that's what it was. It was like, I was experiencing all this like life. Like I was just experiencing life. Life was being thrown at me. I was trying to figure out who I was, what I was doing, living this life. And, you know, and I had to, I had to figure out life, like not necessarily like by myself because I have my mom and I have my aunts and my, like, I have family that supports me, but like, I'm, I'm just not somebody who wants to go by what others say I necessarily should do. Like I will do it if I feel like I have to do it, but like, I have this like internal rebellion where I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. And so I just go and live life by myself. And I like, don't listen to others directions. And it's part of my fault, but it's part of who I've learned that I am. And so during this time period, that was so crazy. It was like, you know, I learned so many things about myself. And as you learn things about yourself, you learn to be in alignment with who you want to be and where you want to go. And so I don't even know how we got here, but <laughs> back to the topic of college. Once I decided to go back to college, I was like, okay, what do I want? And I started realizing that one of my dreams from being a teenager was that I always wanted to have a brand. What the brand was about, I wasn't sure, but I knew I wanted it to be a brand that was centered around women and centered around like hyper, like being very feminine. And I, for some reason, I was always stuck on mermaids, but you know, like as you get older, like mermaids doesn't really align with like a grown woman. It, you know, it's, it has a different dynamic and different like words that align with women versus like teenage girls. So I was like, okay, well, if I want a brand, if I want a brand that is business, and so then I started doing research and I ended up picking, picking a uh, degree in marketing and people would ask me, well, what do you want to do with your degree in marketing? Like what kind of job are you going to get? And I would just say, you know what? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't want to work a job. I want to own a business. And okay, if I'm going to go to college, I'm going to get a business degree because that's what I want to do. And it feels in alignment. Even if I don't know the actual outcome, it feels in alignment with where I want to go. My health science degree was not feeling in alignment, you know, and I wasn't able to understand that. 
But it's like when when you when you're not a hundred percent sure what you want to do long term or where you want to go, you just want to start taking baby steps. Take baby steps towards the future, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And I understand things wanting to be perfect because I I myself can be like a perfectionist by certain things, or like I have to know literally everything. I will do hours of research before I ever make a move, and that's not always the most beneficial. That's just how I operate, though. But you want to just start taking small steps that feel in alignment. And in order to do that, you just have to literally quiet yourself, okay? And as you practice this more often in, in life, like it just becomes easier to he hear the answers in your head. And that's basically listening to your intuition. But you want to quiet yourself. You want to breathe. Ask yourself, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? And you just ask yourself this. And things are going to pop up for you. And you're going to be like... Okay, like that, like this option, you know, th this option sounds good, but it's not, it's not a hundred percent for me. And one thing my grandmother always told me that I literally live my life by, if it's not a 10, it's a no. If it's not a 10, it's a no. If it's not a yes, it's a no. If it's not a hell yes, it's a no. And she would tell me this when she would take us shopping and we would be going through all these clothes and she would be like buying us a whole new wardrobe. And we'd be like, mm, I don't know, like, I kind of like it, like. I mean, I do like it. And she would sit there watching us try it on. She would go, is it a 10? Taught us to listen to ourselves, like listen to our intuition as kids, or that's what at least taught me, but that's what it is. And I, that's what I think about whenever it's like, okay, what do I want to do? Is it a 10? And a 10, a 10 is literally like, it's a feeling, okay? It's a feeling of like inside your body. If it's a 10, it's like, heck yes, there's no way I don't want this. There's no, there's nothing stopping me from wanting to do this. There's, you know, I will do, and I want this 100%. I'm going full force. I'm doing everything I need to do in order to do this or to get this. That's what a 10 is. It feels like hell yes. When you feel out of alignment and you're trying to, you're trying to pivot yourself back onto the path of like, okay, well, you know, this is where I want to go. So what are my next steps? And you need to just look at your options. Because in this world, especially in America, we have options galore. And sometimes it can be, you know, we can like get paralyzed with too many options. So then just start going through your options and start weeding things out. Do I feel like I want to do this? Do I feel like I want to move forward? Am I like 100% on board with this? If there's any, if it's a 7, it's a no. If it's a 9.5, well, let's look at, let's look at what's going on here. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. I think the most dangerous part also about not living in alignment or not living a life that you want to live because I, you know, in terms of like going too spiritual, I love saying alignment because I feel like it really resonates with what I'm trying to say. But some people just don't resonate with spirit, like spiritual speak. They just, they don't understand the words. They don't understand the lingo. Like it doesn't make sense to them. So they, then they just like check out and they got to go. So what I mean by alignment is like living a life that feels good to you. That feels like, yes, this is who I am. If you do not live a life, that does not feel authentic to you and authentic to your journey about where you're going, you are going to feel so unstable constantly. You're basically creating constant stress in your psyche. We already deal with enough stress, with family, with trauma, with work. There is no need to add all this extra stress in your psyche because you are not living a life that feels like you. You're the one that has to wake up with yourself every single day. You're the one that has to look in the mirror. You're the one that has to pay your bills, take care of yourself. You're the only one experiencing life through your own eyes, okay? At the end of the day, the only person you can, you can depend on is you. So if you cannot depend on yourself to live a life that you wanna live, people really do live life like this. And it's very obvious. Like once you see people who live basically chasing their dreams. That's what it is. Living in alignment, living a life that you want to live is chasing your dreams. And living your best life has nothing to do with money. Of course, money is a big difference in our lives. But it's not just like, my, my point is, it's, it's not just rich people, people who own businesses, people who have gotten a master's degree, doctors. Like, it's not just people with money. It's people that are genuinely happy inside. It's those people that glow literally from within because they literally, they actually enjoy being alive. There is no like negative cloud around them. They're not complaining. They're not, you know, hating on people. Like 
They don't put themselves or others down. Those are people who are happy and living aligned. Nothing to do with money has all to do with the want for one's life and actually doing it and having joy and being grateful. Because if you're grateful for your life, it's because you are grateful that you are receiving things that you want and that you have. All right. So the people who are not living in alignment, the people who are not, it's very obvious. They are, I, they're everywhere, especially here in America, because we have all these like expectations of us straight out of the womb is that these are the people that drink way too much. They do uh, hard drugs. They complain about everything. They just have this like negative energy about them. They are haters. They're highly insecure. Look down on other people. And I see this because I'm in the bar industry and you know, I, I've been around it for a long, long time. It is very sad to be in these types of spaces and see people literally numb themselves from the pain. And I mean pain as in like either you're like actual pain or like mental pain. You know, they open their eyes and they have a wish inside their head of how life was, but then they actually look at reality and it doesn't align. And that in itself is so painful. And you know, just like people say, it's harder to not chase your dreams than it is to actually go after them. Cause you know, when you're actually doing something you want to do, it's e like the feeling inside the actual work may not be easy, but like you're going to put in the work because you want to do this. You feel happy doing this. You never work a day in your life. If you love doing what you want to do, you know, that's what it is. But if you're not, if you're not doing what you want to do, every single second of your life is literally miserable because you don't want to do this. If you hate your job, guys, if you hate your job, you need to find something else to do. You need to do like this. Your job is not worth your literal happiness. Do you realize you could literally die tomorrow or you're, you're going to just live your life miserable every day because of what? Do you know at the end of the day, at the end of, at the end of everything, you're going to end up dead. Your parents are going to end up dead. Everybody that you're trying to make happy is going to end up dead. Our existence does not matter in the long run. Everything is, this is just an experience. It's just a game. And if you think that living your life every single day, miserable or having golden dreams that you want to chase and not doing it, why? Like, why? Everything that you think is the reason that's holding you back is this big, this big. I can't even, I can't even like comprehend. Hold on, wait, I got it, I got it. Not even, this is too big. <laughs> this big in the universe. You need, to, you need to live your life because waking up every single day being miserable for this life, this experience that you've been given, you're wasting it. You're wasting it because you have fear around something that in the big picture of things does not matter. How to live a happy life, is to live a life that you want to live. I also want to touch on the fact that when we talk about living a life that we want to live, it's basically, it's basically giving the message of screw what everybody else wants. That's not what I'm trying to give out here. I'm not saying, you know, step on people's toes, push people out of your life, like become basically a one person for one person show for this entire life. That's not it. But when there's big things in your life, you want to like, when it comes to just like what you do for work, well, there's this like conversation online about, how people are not born to work. I wasn't born to work. Do you know, in order to like be alive, to survive in this thing we call life, you have to work. Do you know what work is? Work is like expending energy and doing things for like a certain outcome. Wait, let's look it up because you know, I'm a college graduate now, okay? I can't sound like an idiot even though I'm just a girl, whatever. We can try our hardest here. Hold on, we're gonna look it up. Okay, here's three. Listen, listen up guys. This is what work is. Activity involving mental or physical effort done in order to achieve a purpose or result. It's number one. Number two, a task or tasks to be undertaken, something a person or thing has to do. All right, here's one more, verb. The verb, be engaged in physical or mental activity in order to achieve a result, do work. 
Do you know what they say that our ancestors had to do? They had to build houses, hunt and gather for food, literally fight for their lives every single day because they didn't live in an apartment or a nice house or a house in general. They literally lived in tents or caves. Stop complaining about having to do work. What do you think it is to be an adult? Especially in America, ma'am, what are you talking about? You were literally complaining about having to be alive. Do you know how dense that is? Do you know how ungrateful, so insanely disrespectful it is to constantly complain about having the, the beauty and being given the experience of life because you have to actually show up to be alive every day? You actually have to expend energy to exist? Are you hearing yourself? Ridiculous, Ridic like literally ridiculous. If we as human beings do not wake up and put in work, we would go crazy. Because as human beings, we are curious. We wanna, we wanna figure things out. We have to have a purpose. Do you know that people off themselves because they have no purpose in their life. To have a purpose is to have a reason to wake up every single day. To be given work is to be given a reason to wake up every single day. If you do not like your reason to wake up every single day, you have the power to change that. You have the power to change the reason you wake up every single day. You know why you have the power to do that? You know why you have the power to go to work? to decide which way you wanna make money, to decide which way you want to expend your energy because you are an adult human being who has free will, okay? Who has free will to change how they want to experience the energy or how they want to receive feedback, where they wanna put their energy. Take some ownership for your life and where you're going. Do not stay stuck in the mindset of, oh, the world, the world just, the world just hates me. The world just hates me. You know who thinks like that? Children. Children are 100% the most self-centered beings that there is. And as we grow up, we become less self-centered because we realize the world doesn't revolve around us and everything doesn't happen because of us. A child doesn't realize that things exist outside of them. They think when their parents divorce, it's because they did something wrong. They think when their parent abuses or abandons them, it's because they did something wrong. They don't realize this is not how it's, this is not what it actually is. Actually, people decide to make choices and sometimes those people's, other people's choices impact us. To be an adult human being and to be stuck in the mindset of, oh, I'm so like out of, I'm just so like a victim. To be stuck in the victim mindset is repulsive, okay? Get out of it. Wake up, open your eyes, grow up. You're embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing yourself being stuck in the victim mindset. Everybody has to put in work. Everybody has to show up. Things just happen sometimes. Sometimes things happen out of your control. I've experienced so many things happening out of my control. I could sit there and whine about, oh, poor, woe is me. Why is this happening to me? Why did somebody bust two of my windows to not even steal anything from my car? Literally just busted my windows because what? You know, I have no idea. Why? Why did my car have to break down? Why me? Why anything? Why anything, guys? Because this is life in life. Life is gonna life, all right? Life is gonna be crazy. Sometimes life is gonna be good. Sometimes you're gonna get lucky. Sometimes you're gonna get a little bit unlucky. And you just, it, you just realize that this is just what it is. You just deal with it. When I started going through very chaotic things in my early 20s, and I was like, why is this happening to me? First of all, I had to take accountability for my own actions. Second of all, I had to realize this is just making me stronger. Like I'm gonna experience all this. I'm just gonna become somebody who can actually handle things and I can actually depend on myself to get myself through this chaotic period of my life. So when things happen to me now or things that happen out of my control, you know what I do? I just say, oh, well, 
this is like kind of inconvenient, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get through it. Like, you know, when they busted my windows, not really my fault, you know, not really my fault that somebody also stole my car. Like somebody just decided to like steal my car. And it's just like, life just happens. And if you, if you look at when things happen to you out of your control, and then you just sit there and you wallow and you think, why me? You were literally giving all of your power up to nothing. You're, you're giving it up. You're saying, oh, this nothingness of the energy in the world has decided to condemn me. No, this is just what life is. And sometimes you just have to get through it. And you just take on and you deal with whatever's happening and you move on with your life because you realize this is just what life is. I say all this to say, if you wanna live in alignment and you wanna live a life that feels good to you and you wanna be somebody who actually experiences actual happiness and joy and gratitude, who can actually be grateful and not be a miserable person who makes other people's lives miserable and you just wake up and you are just like a black cloud that comes around everybody because those types of people are literally the worst people ever, okay? If you wanna be somebody who's actually happy, who is life's love, who is, I am light, I am love, I am life. Okay, guys, if you actually want to be that type of person, you got to you gotta do the work to get there. You have to start taking accountability for yourself and living how you want to live. You have to start saying, yes, this is a 10. Yes, I want to do this. Or being like, you know what? That's not for me. That doesn't feel good. Don't live a life you don't want to live. Don't do things you don't want to do. Okay? It's going to come out in other ways. All right? You're going to hurt people. You're going to, you're going to exude all this, like these bad vibes because you are pissed that you feel obligated to be doing these things when you don't have to do them. You don't have to do them. You can just decide to do something else. But if you feel as though you have to do this thing, or you feel as though you, you have to be here, or you feel obligated to do it, then you need to accept the fact that you are doing this because you want this other outcome because you want the praise, you want the support. If you're gonna do something that doesn't feel like a 10 for you inside, you need to change your mindset. There's no point in being pissed about having to do something if you see absolutely no positive outcome for it whatsoever, you know? We have enough stress, we have enough chaos in this world already. The last thing we need is people literally hating their, their lives every single day, okay? That's, we don't need that. You don't need that. That's not going to raise the vibration of our world by people being in these low vibrations. We're never going to get to, I mean, this is like, we're never going to get to, uh, you know, the utopia that, you know, that doesn't exist, whatever. But this is for you. This is for you. This is for you and your family and your children and the people that you come into contact every single day. Let go of the control and realize the only person and the only thing you can control is yourself and the things that you take action for and the things that you say and the way that you show up in the world. That's the only thing you can control. So that's the only thing. It's the only thing that you should be worried about. I feel like I went on a very passionate, you know, I don't wanna say rant because I feel a little negative, but I feel like I went, you know, I, I just wanted to speak some courage into you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. If you learned anything from my speech or from my video, give it a thumbs up. Love you.